this type of job is not for the faint hearted. You know, you got to hold your nerves because, you know, it's a nice challenging job and you have to get it right. There's so much things to go wrong. The engine and transmission has been removed. And we're doing a total rebuild here. So that's why we that's why we have taken out the transmission and also the engine. And here is a transmission right there. And we're going to just, I'm just going to do some final inspection in these areas with the mounts, hoses, the drive train and so on, drive shaft and so on. And this is the view from above. There is no engine, no transmission. So we're going to go through the reassemble process now and start to rebuild the engine and reinstall the, the transmission, repair and install the transmission. I'm just installing the transmission now because some of this came blow away. That's all wires for the, the transmission valve body. Just make sure the top converter don't fall out, so that's why I put my hand here. Now it's good enough. So I'll just get these cables in while I have a little bit of clearance. So now I'm just going to get this cable attached to the correct brackets. As you can see, there's no space there to put it in. And the box haven't even started going up yet. So we'll just get them nicely attached. Because I don't want the, the wires just around and not properly attached. Okay. 
Okay. So now I can start to go up some more and just I'm just concentrating on the clearance on both sides because it's really a tight fit with this transmission. You just come over just a touch. And we're kind of just doing it the, the opposite way, installing the drive shaft. Normally, we would have the drive shaft out. But because the engine is out, we have that room to move the transmission forward as much as we like. So I'm just going to catch the drive shaft up and then we catch the mount up. And this just gives you this nice clearance instead of fighting through the bracket. So I'm gonna just yank these up nice and tight. And you can see that. So now I'm installing the, the transmission engine mount bracket. And this have some adjustments, so you always want to get it right. So I'm going to tighten it up now, but once I'm putting in the engine, I'm going to loosen it up and just recheck, make sure it's in the right position. Now there's a few things there I want to get in. I actually just I actually just lower the transmission a bit so that we can get these pieces in. So this is the pipe here and I just want to make sure the seal is on. Sorry, just me alone here, so camera is in a fixed position. So now I have 113, but not enough space there, so I will use a shorter 13. Just enough room to get over. One side very close. finish the engine mount and I'm just using the previous position to lock them in the impression to lock them in position Okay, you 
Dan voel het goed te lucht nou. Transmission is in. Now I'm going to put in the heat shield to keep that, you know, keep the hot exhaust separated from the drive shaft and all the rubbers. And also insulate the floor and keep excessive heat off from the floor. So I want to make sure these shields go back in. Seals are properly secured. Cavo Parts is your specialist in Asian car parts. When starting the engine, people trust their car to work with spare parts that don't let them down. It's our aim to keep everybody satisfied, from distributor to driver. Cavo Parts is the specialist in high quality Asian car parts. For more than 30 years, with customers all over the world. Our complete product range consists of tens of thousands of references which we deliver directly from stock, including those for the latest car models. Our products are manufactured by specialists, tested over and over again, ensuring safety and reliability. Carvo Parts is more than just parts. Your specialist in Asian car parts. Transmission is in now and all the heat shields are back in place. Most of the heat shields can't add any more until I've installed the engine. So this is the furthest we're going to go at this point. I'm just give you a better view. You know, these are the heat shields. Remember before you could see the drive shaft? Now we can't see it. And that's the transmission and I was trying to just get those pipes, brackets and so on Include all those shields as put in and then now you can't even see that cable so you can just see the connector right there. That's the connector right there. But if I didn't catch it before I put the transmission up, see my fingers can't even go anywhere close to the wires. So that's the reason I was catching it up first. All, all the cables and any brackets and so on before I actually put the transmission all the way inside the bell housing. So that's the end of our transmission journey at this moment until we install the engine.